And we're, we're going to follow um, W.B. Yeats with a, a Welsh poet. So we move from an Irish poet to a Welsh poet. And in fact, R.S. Thomas was very influenced by Yeats uh, and by the English poet, Edward Thomas, uh, his uh, namesake, if you like, but uh, there were no relation. Um, but Thomas, in a way, tried to do uh, for Wales what um, Yeats had done for Ireland. He was passionately interested in Welsh customs, and Welsh farming, uh, Welsh people. And um, he wrote a lot about the landscape. And this is, I think, one of his most beautiful poems. It's structurally in the form of a sonnet, but not at all following the rules of a sonnet uh, metrically. Um, but it's very much a reflection of his sense of the, the spiritual, the, the divine in nature. And uh, it's, it's, I think, a, a beautiful poem which ends with, the, he, he was a, a minister in the Anglican church, and it ends with an image of the Eucharist, uh, the, the air as a kind of Eucharist um, breaking like bread on him. Uh, I, I think it's a, it's a very, very beautiful and very simple poem. It it's almost feels as if it's not constructed. It's just written under some uh, divine inspiration. Uh, and it very much about the Welsh landscape, the wild Welsh landscape. The, this is a moor, uh, as a lot of Wales uh, is. So it's simply called The Moor. It was like a church to me. I entered it on soft foot, breath held like a cap in the hand. It was quiet. What God was there made himself felt, not listened to, in clean colours that brought a moistening of the eye and movement of the wind over grass. There were no prayers said, but stillness of the heart's passions. That was praise enough, and the mind's session of its kingdom. I walked on, simple and poor, while the air crumbled and broke on me generously as bread. In a Country Church by R.S. Thomas To one kneeling down, no word came Only the wind's song Saddening the lips of the grave saints rigid in glass, or the dry whisper of unseen wings, bats, not angels, in the high roof. Was he balked by silence? He kneeled long and saw love in a dark crown of thorns blazing, and a winter tree, golden with fruit, of a man's body. <laughs> 